Hi everyone, this is Bethany, Be a Crafty Girl, and this is my entry for Nurse Sorrell's uh, giveaway challenge. It's called All About You, and she wanted you to make a, a 5x8 card and then um, decorate it in your style with things that you like, and uh, then uh, and then answer some questions so that she can have cards on people in case she wants to. Uh, send racks. So uh, she participated in my challenge that is still going on, my Christmas winter holiday challenge, and um, and asked me to check her challenge out. So I did, and it was a lot of fun. And it was nice to um, create some because I don't. It was nice to create something in that is just me because I don't necessarily make things for myself like ever <laughs> and that might sound strange but it's 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 true so <laughs> so I thought I would participate and I had a lot of fun um I did a lot of things on here that I like to do when I'm making my other cards so um my background um, base is paper tray ink white um, this background paper and this paper on this nestability um, is from the new 12 by 12 Hello Kitty paper that you can get at Michael's uh, that kind of goes along with the smash books and stuff and as well as this little tag and this little uh, sticky thing so it's kind of the front um, I love using pattern paper and I love layering, so I did some layering over here. Um, this is a Nestability that I edged with my silver Krylon pen, uh, which I do a lot. And then this is a Nestability, and then a Nestability rectangle. And then this is a... <sighs> I had a hard time picking out a stamp <laughs> to use. <laughs> like, that was the hardest part of this challenge because I, if you've watched my videos for long, like my favorite thing hands down is stamps. I love stamps. I have lots of stamps. <laughs> They're like my thing. And I had a really hard time, but I used this Pure Innocence Girl. Um, I hadn't used her yet. That was one of the main reasons why I decided to use her. She is called um, Picture Perfect. And I ended up using her because sometimes this is how I feel. Like, you know, we want when we're crafting, we want our end result to be what we see in our head. And sometimes it just doesn't happen that way. And this stamp reminds me of that. Her just holding up the frame and uh, being in it and wanting that to be the picture because we just we want it to be what we think it's going to be and and that was way more philosophical than it needed to be I think <laughs> but um that's why I picked it I colored her with my spectrum noir markers I used my copic markers for the first time on her skin and I think it turned out really nice and then um I put her in these purple <laughs> Okay, so I love blues. I've never been a purple person until the past year, and I've kind of started getting into purple. I love blues and purples and teals, and that's why I colored it the way that I did. And I put her in these purple sparkly boots because there's these purple sparkly Uggs that I want, like, really bad. <laughs> but I just can't, I can't, um, I can't pay the price that they are, <laughs> so I'm trying to wait for them to go on sale. But, so that's why she's in purple sparkly boots. <laughs> because I want them. And then I used uh, some ice stickles. The sparkles on the boots are ice stickles, as well as the sparkles um, around that frame, or around the rectangle nestability. And they are ice stickles, actually, yeah. So that's kind of that side of the card. I do love layering, so I layered that up and edged with black and all that good stuff. And then over on this side of the card, um, a little tag from the paper collection that I banner cut because I love the banner cut and it's just my name and my YouTube name and then my birthday um, on this little sticky tag. And then this is the new Tim Holtz envelope die that I just got and uh, for those of you that asked, um, 
how I liked it. I like it a lot, and not only do I like it a lot, it is super easy to assemble. I will recommend that you use a crease pad though because this top flap always kept wanting to cut off when I didn't use the crease um, mat thing. So super easy to put together because I was worried there for a minute that maybe it was just going to because I have dies that I don't use very often because just because they're a pain once you have them cut out to actually put together. But um, I really like that one. So I used some purple and white twine. Oh, I guess I, sh I never did say I love me some Hello Kitty. I do. I love me some Hello Kitty. <laughs> and then on the inside is where I put the answers to all the questions. And I used one of my um, stamps that I just recently got from eBay. And here's all the things about me. My favorite colors are blues, purples, and teals. My style is cute and fun. Um, I do do other styles, but my personal favorite is cute and fun. Um, number three, I don't have any food allergies that I am aware of. Uh, number four was what is your favorite candy, I think. And I love gummies and sour gummies. My favorite are those belts that you can get at the candy store that are like sour. Those are awesome. And number five, anything you don't like. And there might be a riot when I say this, but I don't like chocolate all that much. Like I'll have a Snickers bar every once in a while, but I just, I am not a chocolate fan. I like white chocolate a lot, but I just, I, I'm not a chocolate fan. <laughs> and number six, um, what do you collect? I collect Hello Kitty things, uh, crafty supplies, and of course, stamps. <laughs> it is my dream someday to have a crafty room that just has like, like short, like short little skinny glass shelves, like all up and down the walls. And I can just, um, display my stamps and know what I have. And I just think that'd be fun. And then number eight, uh, what do you use the most of? Uh, stamps <laughs> and spell binders and paper slash cardstock. Number nine, um, I guess for number eight, I use a ton of dimensional adhesive. I guess I should have put that too. And then number nine, what's on your wish list? I always have stamps on my wish list from different companies. It would be nice if there was one store that carried everything, but you know, some stores only carry their stuff, you know, like paper tray ink or, or um, you know, other online stores that don't actually have a store. It would be nice if they did, like tailored expressions or, you know, stuff like that. But moving on, <laughs> and uh, things on your wish list, yes, stamps, uh, dies, whether they be, you know, spell binders or, you know, paper tray ink stamps or what have you. And then uh, of markers, I'm always in search for something new and different and and markers are kind of my new thing right now. Uh, number 10, uh, thump something, something that uh, she should know about you. And I am an elementary teacher. I actually teach third grade. And I play the violin. I play in a local, um, a local group um, orchestra. Um, it's not, you know, it's just a community thing. It's not a big thing, but but uh, I've been playing for a long time, and I actually, you know, went to college originally to uh, be in music, um, but I just realized it was not the path for me, but it is definitely not something I want to uh, give up, so there you have it. So thank you very much, uh, Laurel, for hosting this very sweet challenge. I um, had a ton of fun. Uh, making my card and uh, I hope you like it too. So uh, thank you everyone for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!